Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas. I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia, and we're back with another exciting episode of Samuel the Troops. And of course, we're back with DVD month or whatever we're doing. I don't know, we're just talking movies. And if I haven't made it clear over the last couple of videos, I do like a war movie, and it's always good to see these historical events, you know, recreated on capture on camera. Um, with all the love and attention that you'd expect from Hollywood or wherever it comes from. This time we're going to talk about World War from the future, as it were. It's World War Z or World War Z, if you say in different countries. Here in Australia, our linguistical requirements have designated that letter as Z. And um, yeah, across the world, it is Z in different countries. And this made it quite confusing growing up because say for example, if you're a child, um, you know, four or five years old and you're watching Sesame Street here in Australia, you'd be, ex when you learn your alphabet, you'd be expecting people to say Z instead of Z. Um, but of course, when they do the alphabet, it's like X, Y, Z. And you'd be like, hang on, no, it's X, Y, Z. But, you know, Zed doesn't rhyme with the song, so it made it a bit jarring and confusing to some of us growing up. Anyway, moving forward. World War Z, I'm going to go with that because of that. It's a 2013 action horror film directed by Mark Forster, who famously helmed Quantum of Solace by James Bond and a few other movies as well, starring Brad Pitt. And this one was a real tricky one because apparently they filmed the hell out of this movie. And then they were like, oh no, we don't like the last 45 minutes of it. And they threw it in the bin, literally. And then they reshot the third act of the movie from scratch. And um, yeah, it is what it is. And you know what? I enjoy the hell out of this. Brad Pitt is just hanging out with his family. They've got to go to school you know, normal sort of stuff. And then zombies just start running amok. And as Brad Pitt is like a shady government operation person with a dark past or something like that, he gets caught up in the web of it, trying to find A, the origin of the zombie outbreak, and B, how to stop it. So that takes him on a bit of a world hopping adventure where he meets all sorts of quirky characters and encounters a hell of a lot of zombies. So you're in for a good time. There is a ton of action in this movie if you've not seen it and lots of suspense. Um, they're trapped. Yeah, there's a lot, um, but really cool fun. They go from, I believe, Brad Pitt's, let's just, I can't remember the name of the character. I think it's Jerry. He starts in Philadelphia, on the streets of Philadelphia, as opposed to like running up the steps and doing the rocky jump and celebration at the library. Philadelphia gets overrun by zombies, so Jerry gets the hell out of town, and then he's rescued from like a sort of projects sort of place, like a housing commission sort of place, where the zombies get in, and he's got to beat the hell out of some zombies there. Then they go to like an aircraft carrier and then Brad Pitt gets shipped off to Korea where he has to, you know, avoid zombies there. They get out in the nick of time before the zombies overrun the place. And then, you know, they send them to Israel and zombies overrun Bethlehem and all sorts of action ensues. Eventually they end up in Wales, in Cardiff, where they meet Doctor Who, which is quite funny because of course Doctor Who was shot, shot. <laughs> there we go, Doctor Who shot in Cardiff, uh, no, Doctor Who was shot in Cardiff, so coincidentally they meet Doctor Who there, which is played by Peter Capaldi, and all sorts of mischief unravels from there, and it's a lot of fun, you're in for a good time if you haven't seen World War Z with Brad Pitt. And it's got a real banging soundtrack, like there are some cracking songs from the band Muse, if you're familiar with them. And they do like kind of one of the heavy songs, like a, it's kind of a bit dubstep 
sort of, if you're into that sort of sound, it's really good. Um, so you're in for a good time. And you're in for being completely baffled because they haven't made a sequel to it. There has been talk of it for many years about a World War Z 2 as, you know, at the end it's kind of unresolved what's happening. Like they do, you know, tick a few boxes in terms of getting the job done and stopping the zombies. But, you know, they don't complete the circle and you're kind of like, hmm, I could do with some more of that zombie action. Who knows if they are going to bring it back for another round in terms of World War Z 2. Your guess is as good as mine. But, you know, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to go with... What have we got? Special features on the DVD. We got nothing. There are no special features on my copy, so I must have just got the bad one in the batch. I'll give it a 3.5 on the Rob Vegas DVD scale. It's got war in it, so the story checks out there. It's worldwide, so world war. It's got zombies in it, so Z. So World War Z, story checks out. Yeah, I think that's a fair score. And yeah, if you haven't seen it and it's on the telly, check it out. You're in for some fun and a lot of zombie action, if that's your kind of thing. And yeah, hopefully they make a sequel. That'd be fun. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below what you thought of World War Z or World War Z if you're in that part of the world. And yeah, like and subscribe and yeah, keep me posted on how you're doing. Cheers everyone, catch you soon.